morning guys, it's me Jaspers and welcome back. I know you know, I know what's going on and that is Jaspers has been missing for like 5 whole days. Is he still alive? Yes. Don't worry guys, I'm still alive. A lot has happened in these last 5 days. Hey, it's the old people, it's the old Singapore car industry people. Hey. Don't say old can. <laughs> Why not? Don't, doesn't apply to me, only applies to you. Hey, hey, hey. hey, 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 hey. That's offensive. If you want some of the Enzo the intern, Enzo the intern deck, I think Enzo is letting go of some, right? Just follow me on Instagram, then we have artists there. Cuts.enzo. has happened in these last five days. I've only been working really really hard on a certain project that is coming up soon. Tune in for that. It'll come up sooner or later. I think we should we should get it. But there is another project that I can tell you about that I've been working on and that is the Patreon, the Patreon exclusive, exclusive tutorial. tutorial. Movement of three and movement of Four. If you don't know what Movement of 3 is, it appeared in a series of award-winning competition videos for WKC So you can go and check it out, it's in Smokescreen, the very very first move And Movement of 4 is its cousin I actually came up with that move when I was filming the second WKC video which is Kai Shri Netcode But I never got a chance to use it in any of the competition videos So that's a pity Over these last few days, I have also been out shopping and getting new equipment for the new deck order because certain equipments that we don't have that we absolutely need and the money for these new equipment came from the patreon so shout out to you guys all the patrons all 39 of you i think it could be 40 right now but yeah 39 it's called the smart left plus by road mic it's basically a microphone that you can plug into your handphone and use your handphone as a recorder i'm gonna do a small unboxing for this so how to use it, velcro, warning strangulation hazard, silicone gel, and the microphone itself. You'd be surprised but this little thing cost me 60 bucks, mental. There's also this little clip here and all of that comes in this awesome road pouch. I know yes, because Apple removed the 3.5mm jack and that's a 3.5 $14. Yeah. Uh, did I say $60 for the mic? That's wrong. That mic is $80. To be honest, it's actually quite cheap. But if you factor in the cost of the phone, it's not cheap anymore. Anyways, today we're going to be looking at a really, really odd pack of playing cards most of you have never seen before. And this deck is called the International Magic Festival and Competition Shanghai 2017, October 26 to 29. Boom. Boom. Cool. No, the card smell slightly odd. The box feels nice though. The box is a matte finish with this CMYK style printing. On the top of the box it says Shanghai, which 
translates to Shanghai in Chinese. At the bottom it writes 808 Magic and the SIMP. Not sure what that stands for. I'm guessing it's the magic organization behind this competition. Let's open it up. Inside the box is white. Pull out the cards. Clean insides. And let's take a look. Oh wow. I haven't seen a deck that looks kind of like this in a long time. Let me first show you guys the faces. Here's a joker. It says, see it, see it. Or for some reason it's written as Sia Sia. I'm guessing it's, it's, a, it's a dialect of Mandarin. I'm guessing, I'm not very sure. Probably a dialect. And then the other joker, Nong, Nong, Nong Hao. Nong Hao. Nong, Nong Hao? I, I'm not, look guys. I, I know a little bit of Chinese or Mandarin rather but but this this pronunciation I'm I'm not sure I'm, I'm kind of confused yeah let's move along over here let's take a look at the Ace of Spades international languaging international type so you have stuff like Mandarin and oh oh no wait this is the romanization pronunciations of certain Chinese words so this Bai Xiang is written as Bashan here. I'm or maybe these are really famous magicians that I don't know about. Or or maybe these are really I, I'm confused guys. I'm confused. We take a look at the cards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Normal. And then here we go. The jack. Oh wow. Look look at that. That looks great. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And the king. I really like these low poly uh, representations of I'm guessing different magicians especially maybe probably Chinese magicians I'm not very sure but yeah here you go here's a jack again a queen again and a king again I'm not very sure I'm confused I'm as confused as you guys right now but let's take a look at the back it says right here Shanghai and then there's this beautiful Shanghai skyline in the background here and then what looks like a stage the construction around a stage on the background and then it goes around the entire deck. As far as the complaints about one-way decks versus two-way decks uh, goes, I don't think it makes a difference anymore. I mean look at this. With this being so close to the center of the card, it doesn't make a difference. It really doesn't make a difference even if your cards like are not two-way because even in a fan you can't see anything. Maybe in a, in a spring someone might glimpse something but the truth is most people wouldn't be able to notice and it won't affect your performance. The cards are really really different from what I've felt in a long time. These cards are moderately soft but they're not USPCC either. They, they, they're soft. These cards feel really good. Oh wow, they fan perfectly. These cards basically fan as well as USB-CC cards, but they're definitely not USB-CC. How about the cutting? Okay, the cutting feels... The cutting feels really interesting. In the case of the USB-CC, the cards are a bit uh, fluffy on the sides. They are a bit like feathery, a bit soft. These cards don't. These cards feel very nice and crisp on the side. That's really interesting. Let's compare it. In a ferrule, bottom to top. Absolutely bottom to top. So here you go. Boom, 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 pa. Absolutely perfect. Let's go down the sides. Ooh, very, very, very nice. These borders are so thick. I haven't seen cards with borders this thick in a long, long time. Very nice. How about the snappiness? Maybe the snappiness is lost. Nope. Oh, nope. Snappiness is good. Snappiness is on point. Really like that. How about in springs? In springs, it's gentle on the fingers. This, this, these are really nice cards. I like these cards. These cards are, this, these cards are great. Let's do some uh, magician cardistry. You know, the kind of cardistry that magicians like to do. Gotta also have that magic face on.
<laughs> All the magicians watching this video, please don't get triggered. Uh, it's, it's just a joke, mostly. Um, under pressure? Very nice. Oh, that's nice. One more time. Brrr, fast one. Boom! These cards. These cards are good. But, but the side that I don't really like about these cards is the design of the cards. I mean, sure it's for magicians and magicians rarely want to use cards that look too suspicious. But yeah, as a cardist myself, I, I find these cards looking eh. It's, it's alright, I guess. It's, it's not the best. It's not the best. We can't always have the best. It's literally impossible for every single deck to be the best, right? So this deck, mm, not the best. The design, a bit boring in my opinion. Not very exciting in my opinion. But the stock and the finish, that's where this deck really shines. Alright guys, thank you guys very much for watching today's episode. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me, what is more important? Is either the best design in the world with the worst feeling stock and finish, or the absolute garbageous design of cards, but with the best quality and the stock and finish? Let me know what you think! Until next time guys, I'm Jaspers, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.